Hey folks, John here. I got a question. I'm trying to get make a one of those you vlog uh, channels. I'm used to doing uh, blog TV, but uh, this one is uh, pretty much different. Problem is, I can't get the camera to work. The webcam. I gave a little tiny picture of a thing that I can hardly see, and I hit allow, and nothing happens. I don't know why, but uh, that's the way it is. I just had my uh, desktop uh, overhauled through uh, my PC, uh, mycleanpc.com. Uh, they helped me. They were good. They, they did a real good job. And uh, I'll tell you more about that in a minute. Anyway, I'm trying to get this uh, website up. It's uh, a lot of people are on it that used to be on with the uh, blog TV. And there's like about a couple few of them. There's the YouTube. There's uh, well, of course there's YouTube. There's uh, you now that used to be blog TV. There's uh, Vaughn and there's uh, the you vlog, which I'm trying to work on. When I tried it on my my uh you you vlog uh it said I wasn't able to see it in this country and I had to change the name like fifteen times just so, so I could get on it then something happened and it didn't work again I don't know if I missed felt something or something went wrong or something I don't know but it was I couldn't do it. So I had to, I had to change it. If you see it, go to youvlog.com slash and look for a name, Simi J H W. No, that's not it. Simi S I M I J H W N J on the uh, vlog that's the chat the name i'm going by on the uh, vlog and uh, a few other sites the same same and uh if i had not not that oh something just oh it's the background on my kit on my uh on my uh on my monitor this is a uh, change the picture into a dark picture that's why it's so dark so anyway, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get to get up and running, so I can do do a cooking video on it. I got my order today from. Uh, you might be able to get some here on the East Coast. They have. I don't know if they have it any place else, but you should try. Where I get mine from is uh, here in New Jersey. Is tri-state door-to-door organics dot com. Uh, you have to have a. You get a box. You have to pick out a box size. You can get one for like 25, 30, 5, 45, and 50. All different size boxes. I got the real small box. And you get quite a bit of stuff in a small box. I got twenty-five dollars worth. I got uh, vegetables. I got broccoli and all everything come that I got today. I got fruit, a lot of fruit. I got tomatoes. I got uh, mushrooms, all kinds of things. So I'll make some nice things with it. And I've been making them, but my own butter. I want to get some uh, organic, non. What is it? Non ultra pasteurized heavy cream. You want just pasteurized, not the non stuff. Because if it's non pasteurized, it won't turn into butter very good. If it's just pasteurized heavy cream, like the stuff I have here, this is the. Uh, what is it? Sky Top Farms. Heavy whipped cream, organic, grass fed, non homogenized heavy cream. Pure stuff. 
it would be better if it was raw, but raw clean, but uh, pasteurized is best if you can get it. And if you have to use Ultra, you're going to have to get the calcium uh, chloride for it, the stuff from the cheese uh, supplier. You have, you have to have a, the starter. You call it a starter. It, it's all it's all on the web, websites. It's on the websites about so you could, don't have to worry about that. You get a book that tells about it. I got, I got a couple of recipe books that tells how to make it. But uh, you definitely want to use the real stuff. And I tell you, it is. You taste butter in store, it's, just, it's not like it. It tastes all different. I mean, it tastes a lot better when you make it yourself. Believe me. It tastes a lot better. It's expensive to make, but it's real easy. All you do is put it in a jar, like a clean, sterilized, empty jar that has, has the warm milk in it, the, the warm cream. You have to let the cream be 72 degrees. About 70, 75 degrees. And it has to be set overnight. This way, all the, the good stuff gets all all the good bacteria in it it ages it you don't get spoiled but it does age and then you just shake it up shake it shake it real real fast just shake it until until it forms up uh the butter then you just pour off the buttermilk and you can use that to drink it or put it in cakes or something and uh then you wash the butter in water cold water it has to be cold water you don't want it to melt all over after you just made the stuff. So you, you get it. Because if you leave the, the buttermilk in the butter, it'll spoil. It'll spoil a lot quicker. But you've got to put salt in it. But if you just want to eat up like in like two, one or two days, you could just leave the buttermilk. You could pour it out. You don't have to wash it out all, all real good. Just pour it out and then put it in a paint. Put it in a little bowl. Put it in the refrigerator, and there you go, and you could have it. If you're gonna have a more, a lot of it, like a couple pounds, maybe a pound. Yeah, one little pint makes like about half a pound. That's pretty good, but though. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get some kidney fat. I have to get that. I'm trying to get that too from the store, from the local butcher. Uh, you, I could easily get it. Cause we had a store right down the, just down the road from us, the butcher. But uh, they don't sell the organic milk that I like. I don't know why. I have to go to another store for that. I go there on Tuesdays, Tuesdays and Thursdays. We seniors, we get we get the bus. Yeah, and I I got a nut mail you the other day from AARP. I have to renew my membership. I'm getting old. <laughs> anyway, that's what, what's up with me. I really got to try to get this uh, this page up. I'm going to keep my username. I may have to change my email and uh, password, but I will keep my username for the site. So those that you know me as... Uh, other names you would be able to find me easier because uh, this is I may have to ch even change my name so I don't know uh, and there is a show that I like uh, I like Mike Mozart I was, I was on his show uh, watching his show the other day he's, he's pretty good I haven't seen him in a while. He's got a beard too. He's got a wonderful beard. And uh, I watch uh, Gar the Ghoul. He, he does horrible horror shows, old mo old uh, sci-fi horror movies. Some of them are pretty good, but I just like to watch the people putting their names in, see what they say. Uh, some of them are pretty bad. A few of them are pretty good, though. Not not too much. 
I have something that I haven't shown you before. I got these a couple, about a couple years ago. I got them just about two weeks before my mom passed. For, for my bit, for, I got them for my birthday. I never used them. It's a hundred movies. It's two, two boxes inside each one. I got inside, like fifty movies on each in each little box. All old horror movies. Names are on the back. And I got the sci-fi versions. Old sci-fis. See, it's all the, the names on them. Got uh, sci-fi classics and sci-fi uh, invasions and set. Yeah, I, I haven't looked. I looked at them yet. I got them, but I don't want to use them because this lap, this desktop, is just about t five, five more. Uh, gigs and the thing will have to be replaced so that's why i'm taking a lot of stuff out i can't even do my uh edit my videos but guess what i tried to download i tried to download the which one call it the windows 8 and the key you know when i download them they give you a key so you have to put in so you get in well they didn't work and I didn't buy the, the disc. I bought the I bought download. It was 119 bucks each for the, the original and for the upgrade. Of course, I had to have the upgrade because I got the different thing, the computer. And it was to total 225 bucks. I called them up and I told them to get to. I told them I wanted my money back. Just I told them I cleaned out all my downloads. I don't want no more downloads because it takes too much room. In my laptop on my uh, computers, so when I get my money back, I'm going to buy me a new laptop. And I see one on the Amazon for a hundred bucks. <laughs> yes, yeah, like a uh, hundred ninety nine bucks, I think it was two hundred, just two hundred bucks. This uh, I, and it's a Commodore, not Commodore. Uh, they call it. Can't come something I, I I forget. I think I think it's Google, Google Book or something like that. They call it. It's a little little, little tiny little small eleven inch laptop. It looks pretty good and it's brand new. So and to fix the laptop I have now, it's going to cost two hundred bucks. So I might as well just buy a brand new one and fix this. Buy, pay fifty bucks to fix this, fix this one, because all it needs is a hard drive, hard drive and a battery. Oh, it works. It's just I gotta get a new hard drive for it. I paid hundred bucks for it a couple years ago. And as I wasn't on this desktop for a long time, I was using the local library. That was that was cool, but the weather's getting cold now, and I really don't want to walk ten miles just to go to the library. I don't mind it in the spring and summer when the weather's nice and warm and it's not raining, but when it's cold and snowy and like ten tonight it's like ten degrees or something. It says I don't want to be out in this weather. This that's not right. So. But I did get my disability, so I'm good. I hadn't had no seizures in a while, so uh, that's good. And I've been eating a lot better too. I used to eat a lot of, a lot of fast foods and things, things that's not too good for me. So I, I got into the 18th century diet, and I've been eating, having that, and that's why I got my organics, the cooking stuff for, that's from the 18th century old recipes that they used to use and it's all good oh well I just do get do this now so I'll keep in touch and let you know